Okay, so we have off our coast, we have both seals and sea lions. And I want you to know the difference between a seal and a sea lion. First of all, seals have holes behind their eyes. They have short front flippers with nails at the tip, and they can't rotate their rear flippers underneath their body. They do a process called the lumping. It's kind of like a caterpillar crawl. Sea lions, on the other hand, they do have the ear flaps. They have the longer flippers. Their nails are about a third of the way back. They can put their rear flippers underneath their body and kind of walk on all four. And that would be a sea lion. Now, we also have California sea lions and stellar sea lions. We have both of them here off Equal Bay. We only have male California sea lions, male losers. Uh, the females stay down in Mexico. And then we have the big stellar sea lions. We have both male and female stellars. Stellars are endangered. Uh, their main population is up in Alaska. They eat pollock. That's what we make in the patient crab out of the fish sticks and fish sandwiches. So, uh, so that's something that you need to uh, realize that when they're eating that imitation crab that, you know, the stellars don't have as much to eat. So they're bigger, blonder, they roar, these are smaller, darker, and they bark. And then an elephant seal. And we have very few of those here. Okay. okay. Here we have, um, this is a river otter. This is a river otter pelt. Now I want you to make sure you know the difference between a river otter and a sea otter. Many people tell me, oh, I saw a bunch of sea otters in the ocean, or, or at least two or three, and I will ask them, was it on its belly or was it on its back? Because we very, very, very seldom see sea otters off our coast. And nine times out of, well, almost every time, we always say, well, it was on its belly. Well, that would be a river otter. River otters do go in the sea, but some of the characteristics of a river otter is that they, they swim with the stomach down. Um, they can be seen in the river or the ocean. Very agile on land, so they'll run up and down the land. They toboggan down banks and everything else. Long, slender body, and they're going after fish and, and other fast-moving prey. Now, if you get a chance to see a sea otter, which again is very, very unlikely off Oregon coast, usually they're on their back. Most of the time, you only see them on the ocean. If they are on land, they're very clumsy. They're, they're, they're chunkier. And a lot of times they go after sea urchins and clams and stuff like that. When you do see them, many times they will put a sea urchin on their belly, and they'll lay on their back, they'll take a rock, and they'll just pound it to break it open. So they go after slow-moving prey items, whereas river otters who are more agile go after fast-moving prey items. 